Hey everyone, it's Kelly with Florals in the Barn by Finn Clay in Rochester, Illinois. How are you guys? I was just charging the phone. That's why you guys saw me so close to the phone. Anyway, just uh, getting ready to do a candy cane door hanger tonight. I think they're super cute. I haven't done one in a couple of years. And I thought, what a fun design for you guys tonight. We got uh, some sparkly ribbon, always. <laughs> some sparkly picks super cute some greens and some more sparkly ribbon so we're just getting ready to get started so come on in if you hop in here say hello say hi um press the like or the love button let me know you guys are here if you're um, new to my page let me know where you're from and if you would like to see more of these videos um hey sean hey peyton nicole um hey guys welcome if you guys would like to see more of my videos just top tap the screen three buttons will come up to your right and it'll allow you to see my notifications hey cynthia hey hey um angie how are you so we're gonna get started on this fun little project tonight hi rosemary from kentucky welcome so I love this ribbon from Sam's. I'm almost out of it. I think I got one more roll of it. I wish I would have bought like 99 million rolls of it. Thanks for the heart, you guys. I love this ribbon. And there are a lot of people that don't do traditional Christmas, which is fine. Um, I kind of don't do tr traditional Christmas. I have one tree that I do in copper and red. And then the other one's vintage Christmas because that's what I love. Um, North Dakota. Every oh, from New Jersey. Well, hello, Lynn. Well, hello, Christina. So we're going to get started. I'm going to start at the top today. Um, again, we're doing some fun picks, some greens, and then we're going to do a bow with this. Hey, Penny, how are you? Welcome. So let's get started and check this thing out, right? So I already got my ribbon all twisted. <laughs> hey, Danielle, welcome. So let me get this on here and get it the right way so we can get started. I'm excited to do this one. It's been a long time since I've done one of these, probably a couple of years. But I just wanted to uh, do something fun with you guys tonight. I know you guys always, you get tired of seeing me do bows and do whatnot. Actually, my glue doesn't want to come out. Well, I just plugged it in a few minutes ago. Hey, Jennifer from Michigan, welcome. Patricia's watching. Well, this thing should be working. What in the heck is the deal? I'm probably not putting enough muscle in it. That's the problem. And it wants to drip. Nice. Oh, well. We'll clean it up later. Clean up on aisle five. <laughs> I need a cleanup crew after I get done in here, you guys. It's about that bad. It's, it's a bad scene. <laughs> Hi, Karen. How are you? I love the ribbons and things. Please just ship it straight to me. Yeah, I know, Danielle. Isn't it beautiful? I love it. Okay, so I'm, I'm trying not to make a mistake. I think I already did, but that's okay. I think I'm supposed to go to the back, but I can do things my way, right? Who sings that song? Uh, why well, won't it cough and go away? I know. I know. It's so hard to... To maneuver these things when you get them when you get such a mess going in here earlier I had taken down all of my um, my light and um, my archon mount and everything so that I could go and photograph um, at Shabby Shack getting started is the hardest part on that this you guys and um, so I, I had forgot and I left it all in the foyer so I'm like, oh my gosh. So I'm like, that's why I was like three minutes late. Because I was running around trying, <laughs> trying to get all my stuff put back in order and put back in place. And just trying to do the right thing. That's all right. It is what it is. We're here now. That's all that matters. So tonight we are going to work on getting this little burger straightened out here. It does not want to do the right thing. That's right. All right, we'll keep going. We will keep going. I've got glue everywhere. It's a good time in here. <laughs> yes, that's a Sinatra song. You're right. 
do it my daggone way, right? Okay, so we just got to get it started, and, and that's the hardest part. And then I may have to go in and, like, glue the tip down or something, but it'll be fine, you guys. And then the hardest part's going around this, the candy cane tail. <laughs> hey, hey, Janine, how are you? Sharon, Deb, I watch her all the time. You too, Sherry. Aw, you guys are so sweet. All right, so I'm kind of angling it. Well, I'm trying to angle it. Angle it just a little bit. That way I don't use so much ribbon. And it gives a better look to your candy cane. Let's get some ribbon pulled out here so we can keep on going. Like I said, this is kind of the beginning and maybe the end will probably be the hardest parts. But it's just getting it getting it wrapped. And I, I, like I said, I haven't done one of these in a couple of years. And I just love how they're so cute on a front door. Hey, Terry, how are you? Welcome, you guys. Good, and you just done with the fall truck wreath. Awesome. So, um, if you guys haven't seen it and you get a chance, go back and watch the live I did yesterday at Shabby Shack. They're on Facebook. And go to, don't watch view one, because view one was an epic failure because we were having internet troubles. But go to, um number two and watch it they've got the cutest stuff in that shop they paint furniture they do jewelry um their paint that they sell is amazing it it will stick to anything you only have to do one coat it's awesome thanks sean i appreciate that <laughs> i know linda they're fun i wanted to do one in these um non-traditional colors uh just for giggles because i'm I'm kind of over traditional Christmas right now. I've done so much Christmas lately. And no craft shows. So that doesn't help the situation. But I've got Etsy loaded up. So if you guys need anything or want anything, go um, on my Facebook page. You can hit the Shop Now button. It's right at the top underneath my logo. And it will take you straight to my page. You guys can check out what I've got available. And, but anyway, back to Shabby Shack. Oh gosh, you guys, they have clothing, they have boho jewelry. That's where I got my little, you guys already saw this. I showed it before, my little truck necklace. Um, oh, I got the earrings there too. Uh, my bracelets, no, they're from Plunder. Um, but it, it was fun. And then at the end, Jenny did a show. And then if you guys are into um, jewelry at all, go to... Uh, tiny token boutique after you get off here and it is um, put this on the floor because it's getting tangled on me um, we're doing a live in that on that page Sunday I think it's at 2 30 there's a an event on there scheduled you guys can come watch Jenny does amazing work and the, they make the greatest Christmas presents I bought them before so for Christmas or friend gifts or spoil yourself gifts. <laughs> Hi, Cindy. How are you? I'm trying to get my ribbon untangled. I shouldn't have left it up there. But that's all right. I need a little helper elf. That would have been nice, right? A little helper elf to get my ribbon untangled for me. <laughs> Gosh. Oh, shoot. Oh, well. Anyway, so that's what we've been up to. And the better news is our uh, garage slash Big Daddy's workshop will be done, I think, Thursday. And then they'll start with the wiring and all that stuff. So it looks like I'll be moving out to the studio maybe before December. But probably, I don't know, maybe, maybe not. There's a lot of work to be done. Hey, Faith, how are you? Thanks for coming in, you guys. Yeah, just share with your friends if you'd like to, or um, tag somebody you know that would love to see this little cute candy cane. These are great, you guys, for um, gifts for people that love sticking their wreaths and stuff between their doors. Or if you have somebody in a nursing home or a assisted living facility, 
or, you know, some place where they can't really display a big, fancy, beautiful wreath, you can get them one of these beautiful candy canes. And it won't stick out that far on their door. I know, I know, there's always so much news going on around here. It seems like we just always got something going on. Look how cute it's turning out already. Isn't that fun? It reminds me of vintage Christmas for some reason. I guess it's because the way it's the way it's falling, falling. It reminds me of, I don't know, well, probably most of you aren't from around here. Oh, somebody said hi. Hello. I'll comment later, you guys. Um, so, Emily, the jewelry place is called, the mom's shop is called Shabby Shack. And then Jenny's jewelry page is called um, Tiny Token Boutique. Tiny Token Boutique. Thanks, Cynthia. I know. I love this ribbon. So beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Um, but anyway, years ago at, um, I want to say it was Zayers. You guys probably remember a Zayers, but um, our Zayers, I'm going to cut this ribbon. It's making me crazy. Um, they used to decorate these big flags on the light light posts and they used to have these little design you know little snowflakes on it and that that's what this reminds me of that's kind of funny right i know i can't help it that's what it reminds me of all right and i'm going to go back in and glue that later i just don't want to take up a bunch of your time I just bought some of the candy cane frames. I can't wait to do them. I know they're so beautiful. So check this out. Let me, I'll work on it later, but I'll finish it up. But isn't that so pretty? I just love the colors. I'm trying to get it close so you guys can see. I, t I took a, I took a chance with this tonight because I was not sure if I was going to like um, this ribbon on there, but it's perfect. It's absolutely gorgeous. All right, so let's get on making that bow, right? Let's get out our Bodabra and rock and roll. Um, I want to actually put this on. Um, do, 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 do. I think I'm going to put it on a chenille stem because I want it to not show up at all. So that's what we're building off of tonight. I know, Emily, I love this ribbon, too. And this one, too, because they match. <laughs> I have a client that um, does their Christmas in these two ribbons. So one year I made 20 or 25 um, huge bows this size <laughs> for her banister and railing in her home. And then she sent me a picture, and oh, my gosh, it was gorgeous. I was like, what? What? Like, it was so pretty, but that that's how she decorates her um, whole Christmas, is in these hot, hot colors. And then she actually, um, her daughter was telling me she has, like, these hot colors in her furniture, too. So, that's really fun. <laughs> I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So, we're not going to make a big, huge, fancy bow for this, because it doesn't, it doesn't command that. We're going to do a smaller bow. I'm staying with one ribbon tonight, which is totally out of character for me, right? <laughs> totally. Totally out of character. That's okay. All right. So, I'm going to pull them up, make sure we're at least close. We're kind of close. That's how I measure mine. Just to get started. But I think it'll be... I think it'll give it a good enough look. Like I said, it doesn't need anything big, especially since we're adding the greens and we're adding a little bit of glitz and glitter to it. So, what's everybody up to tonight? Just hanging out, watching me, getting through your Monday, Manic Monday? I guess if I had my glasses on, that might help, huh? <laughs> well, I just got off work. I ran down the hall and then I realized, like I said, all my equipment wasn't set up, so I was trying to do that and so I just put my glasses there and forgot they were there oh well okay so I think I want to add one more loop on each side 
Hi, Joanne. How are you tonight? And see where that gets us. If you guys wouldn't mind um, sharing with your friends, I would greatly appreciate it. I just got to uh, 4,200 followers, and so I'm excited. I want to get to 5,000, um, and my goal, I got a big goal, you guys, big goal, big dreams. I want to get to um, 10,000 by December. Michelle says, my bow making has improved since I began watching you. Thank you. Oh, that's so sweet of you. I appreciate that. I love hearing that stuff, you guys. If I've helped you in any way and you are doing better or you, you know, love the help I gave you, if you guys wouldn't mind going out there and giving me a review on my uh, page, I would greatly appreciate that because I think people would love to know that I'm doing good for them, you know, and doing good for you and that in turn, that would actually help you, you know, help them. So if you guys wouldn't mind leaving me a, me a review, I can't even talk tonight. I would greatly appreciate that. That would be awesome. So what I'm doing is actually creating a center bow. You guys have never seen me do that before, I don't think. But I wanted to put a bow in there. So making candy canes myself, but I had a busy day at work. So chilling. I wanted to be chilling too. You guys are my advertising. Yes, you guys are definitely my advertising and my marketing <laughs> source so if you guys can get the word out to people i would greatly appreciate it okay so i kind of feel like i might no i better not because i'm doing the greens in there okay i know what we're doing now i got this oh the dogs just sneezed sorry bless you doggy <laughs> we'll definitely give you a good review oh thanks michelle i really appreciate that so I'm going to pull this up through the middle really carefully, and we're going to pull these two. We're going to twist them. We're going to move, move positions, one on one side, one on the other, and then gently give it a squeeze. So the dog is not normally allowed down here, but in my frantic state of trying to get down here and get hooked up for you guys, uh, he has made his way down here. So I apologize. He's not always down here. He's not allowed down here. Um, we have one of those big, I don't know what it is, like three and a half foot gate. <laughs> but I forgot to lock it. It only works if you lock it, right? <laughs> oh, you guys are so sweet. Thank you for everything. I really appreciate it. Okay, so we're going to put this little cutie on here. I'm excited about these colors, you guys. This is so awesome awesome sauce okay I'm pulling it as tight as I can and then I will probably um, go back through and this little piece of fabric that we ended up with I will probably cover up the back of whatever I make thanks for the hearts you guys that's awesome and thanks for all the sharing you guys have been doing tonight I really appreciate that like I said it's really hard to grow your business online when there's so many of us but I know that we're all unique in our own little cute ways and I feel like I'm very unique in my own little quirky, quirky, weird ways. <laughs> so this is looking really cute, you guys. I'm loving the bow, loving the streamers. So the yellow, I mean, the, um, the white chenille in the center is going to be hidden in a minute by all the picks and everything. But then that turned out so cute. Fun, 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 fun. I'm um, probably going to make this tail just a little bit shorter because it's a little bit long for me. I like it, but it's too, it's just a little much. Oh, and now I have an extra piece in case I want to do the pink on the back instead. All right, so these picks are really fun, you guys. I got these from, where did I go? Where did I go? Hobby Lobby. Let go. And... I'm going to cut them apart. So the top leaves you with a cluster of three. One, two, three, right? Oh, Michigan. Nice. I love Michigan. My girlfriend lives up there. And we've been, I, when I was a kid, I took one of the most fabulous trips and went to Michigan. It's one of my best childhood memories. Again, saving the tag with all my other tags so I know how to price it out 
And then this one, I will, I will cut this piece right here down just a little bit further so it doesn't get in the way. And then we'll cut this stem off. And then this is going to leave us with three. So see how it has the three? But if you put them together, it, it's just a nice uh, cluster of greens. And then let's figure out which one's longer. They're both actually the same size. So this one, we will cut a little bit more because I think it's too long for where it's going. Can't have no long stuff in there. Thanks, Joanne. Well, hello, Katie Brockton. Thank you. And somebody said hello to Sandra. Hello, Sandra. Okay. Now I'm gonna try to wipe off a lot of this glue. I'm using my glue pot over here, you guys. Um, and we are going to sneak this up under as close to the greens as we up under the ribbon as we can get it right and then you just kind of fluff them and give them some movement I'm gonna hold it because it's not totally in there yet but you can see how cute it's looking <laughs> I see Benjamin Ben Ben what's up buddy you coming to check out what I'm doing you need another wreath for your front door <laughs> All right, again, I'm not going to put as much glue on this, but this has a lot of textures and um, spaces where the glue can hide and get in and hold. So I'm not real worried about not putting a lot of glue into this. And then this is actually going down the right side of the bow, just a smidgen. And then these two need to be separated out just a little bit. Give some more flounciness down there. We want it to flounce around. <laughs> if that's even a word, right? <laughs> what will you sell that cane for? I'm not sure yet. I haven't totaled it up yet. Um, but I will. Um, it'll be listed hopefully by the weekend. So you guys will be able to see. Like I said, I have to add everything up. That's just how I do it. So I don't lose money making making uh, wreaths with my hobby. Okay, these, I'm going to gently pull them apart. There they go. Perfect. And then we're going to... So when they split apart, they, they kind of come apart. So we just wire them back together. So that's what we are doing. And then I'll probably fold it up a little bit because I want it to stay as tight and tiny as possible. And this one I probably won't put in the glue stick. But the cool thing about these is, I'm going to find my pencil. It disappeared. Here it is. Um, taking these and, and twisting them and make curly, curly giggy wiggies out of. <laughs> hey, Kim, how are you? All right. So, but you just want to give some movement to whatever you're working on. And not all of them have to go really tight or really close to the base. Um, and then you can pull them back out like you can see me moving them. <clears throat> and it just gives like a little fun textured piece to what you're working on. So this one I'm going to actually glue. Because it's so tiny. Well, I can pick up glue off my table since I'm gluing my table, right? I don't know why this glue gun is so temperamental tonight. But it sure is. Okay, let's stay away from it. Alright, let's put this up in there. And I'm going to hold it for just a minute. It seems like the glue out of the glue guns just needs held a little bit longer than out of my glue pot. Okay. We are getting there, you guys. And it's turning out so cute. 
Okay, let's cut this off. Who's already starting to decorate for Christmas or thinking about decorating for Christmas or getting getting their mojo on about it? I'm getting excited about it a little bit. I, I think I'm going to change some of my decor this year. I don't know what to. I just, I get bored easy. Big Daddy's always like, do you always have to rearrange the living room 45 times a year? Yes, I do. <laughs> Can I see your glue pot? Sure. Hi, Cynthia. Uh, if I don't drop everything, this is my glue pot. Short and stout, heavy as heck. I don't let my glue get as hot as some. Um, I like it a little thicker textured so I can work with it better. So who's all ready for fall? I know you guys are ready for fall and sweatshirt weather. I got on a sweater today. I had to go to the doctor's office today and I was like, you know, it's a little chilly out and it's probably going to be colder in the doctor's office. So I put on my, it's called boyfriend jacket. I need a boyfriend. I'm going to tell Big Daddy that. I need a boyfriend because I got his jacket already. <laughs> I don't think he'll like that joke. I like it. I think it's hilarious, but <laughs> he might not appreciate it. Okay, so see, you can move those front, forward, backwards. All right, let's glue this one in. Probably gluing left-handed isn't helping me any either. Come on. My glue. There we go. It's like watching paint dry, you guys. Can't even get the glue out. It's like, no, you're not gluing me in there. I don't want to go. Well, you're going. You just don't know it yet. All right. So I gotta step away from that for a minute so I don't get glue into that. And then this again, I'm gonna hold it for a few minutes so we don't um, lose that. Libby's watching. Hello. I'm so tired of coughing. Well, that's not good. I can't see who that wrote that. Is that a special pot? Looks like. And then I can't read it. So any comments that I didn't get to today, I'll try to get to those this evening or tomorrow night. Um, I try to get to everybody. So I will answer all your questions. So just watch for them. Just started following you and I have to say you're adorable. <laughs> I am learning a lot. Oh, thank you. I don't know who said that, but thank you so much. That's sweet. Oh, Penny said, oh, Penny, you're having trouble with the coffin thing. That's not good. All right. Now, what did I do with that? Lord, my comments aren't advancing, you guys. I'm sorry. Where did you get your glue pot? I got it at um, a wholesale place in California, or not California, South Carolina, I believe is where it is. And it's uh, Sims Pottery. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so cute. I might even take another little pick of greens and put in there at, at the at the top. But it is finished and it is adorable. Like look how cute it turned out, you guys. How festive and Christmassy is that? Trying to make I can't read you guys' comments. They're not forwarding tonight. I apologize. Somebody said they've been really sick, and I'm so sorry to hear that. Okay, you guys. So, um, you guys can do, you know, you can add as much stuff onto it as you want. Um, obviously, it raises the price a lot. Um, so, I'm trying to keep this one pretty simple. And again, I will take this piece of extra material and cover the back. So, that does not show... Actually, I think it's the same pattern scheme. Um, so nobody will know that, that that's back there. Um, I'll tighten it up a little bit. But I do all that after I get off my lives. You guys should know by now. I don't I don't fin finish anything on a live. I forever change stuff when I'm done. Thanks, Mary Bates. How are you, beautiful? So this is tonight's project. Cute little simple candy cane. But I wanted to come live and, and do a little project with you guys tonight. So... Thank you guys so much for joining me. 
And like I said, if you wouldn't mind sharing me out, I'd greatly appreciate it. I love getting new followers. And thank you guys so much for the hearts. I appreciate it. And uh, I will be back Wednesday at 1235 Central Standard Time. Thanks, you guys, for the hearts uh, for bow class. So anybody having trouble making a bow, um, let me know. If you have a certain bow maker that you're struggling with, let me know. Uh, last week, I did Wednesday, I did the Pro Bow. Um, this week, I'm not sure yet. How would you hang it? So um, I'll just put a little hook on here. And it'll hang right just like that. Not a problem. Um, so again, uh, Wednesday at 1235 Central Standard Time. If you want to follow me, hit the screen on the right hand side up in the corner. You'll see three little dots. You'll click on those and then it has a notification to follow me if you would like to follow me. I am seeking more followers. I am up to 4,200 followers right now. I'd love to be to 5,000 very quickly, and I would love to be at 10,000 by the end of the year. That's kind of my big girl, big girl, big panty <laughs> goal. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful, gorgeous, and awesome. Thank you for this wonderful tutorial. You're welcome, Evelyn. Thank you guys so much for joining me. You guys have a blessed Monday night. I know Mondays are kind of a bummer, so we're having some fun and cheer over here. So have a great night. Be sweet, be kind, and I will see you Wednesday at 1235 Central Standard Time on this page. All right. Have fun, you guys. See you. Bye.